They battle a serious fire in Cornelius. Fire investigators say it's an ethanol fuel facility where there were multiple explosions. This is happening on North 4th Avenue near a Walmart super center. Reports started coming in just before 2 this afternoon. Now let's get right to our Liz Birch joining us live much closer to the scene. And Liz, what can you tell us? Well, you can still see that plume of black smoke behind me right here, and I can tell you it's making my eyes water. Just really a disgusting smell and that smoke very prevalent in the air. Difficult to see, but I can tell you there's also ash falling as well, and the fire department says that's a concern for the residents in the area. They've evacuated about 50 homes. They say we're waiting on the sheriff's office for an exact number of homes and people who have been evacuated. They say several businesses in the area also evacuated. Evacuated Walmart right behind me here. They had to evacuate Walmart as well. Now I'm going to take you this direction. Follow me here live. I want to show you just how large the response is out here right now. You can see several roads in the area blocked off. Fire Department and Sheriff's Office asking that you take back roads because the highway, highway, as you can see, is shut down right now. Now we did talk to the fire department about this and the difficulty in responding to a fire of this size, especially when it's burning fuel. Let's listen to them right now. Uh, this is some high high burning ethanol too. It's meant for race cars, so the ethanol level is pretty high. Um, it's 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 there that'll burn. It's it's higher than gasoline, so it's it's pretty dangerous stuff. So they say at this point, their main concern is just making sure they can keep their people safe and, of course, the people in the area safe as well. They are going to attempt to bring in some tanks so they can spray the actual cans themselves to try to prevent any future explosions. People we talked to in the area, they told us that those explosions were so big it actually shook their homes. I'm going to break away and try to get a little more information from the sheriff's office right now who just got to this area and we'll let you know anything new we learn coming up in the next half hour. Back to you. All right, Liz Birch alive close to the scene there in Cornelius. Thank you. And now we want to show you this evacuation map. The Cornelius Fire Department shared this telling us that those within that area in red must evacuate. That's along North 4th Avenue between North Holiday Street and Adair Street. Officials say if you're outside of that area that's in red, you need to still stay where you are and shelter in place. I spoke with a, a woman who lives right across the street from the fire. Rosemary Russell told me just how scary it was. It sounded like a car hit my house. That's how bad the explosion was. And then Another explosion happened, and then the fire department came and was knocking on everybody's door, telling them they had one minute to get out. She says she was most worried about getting her dogs out, and there's no word yet on how this fire and explosion started. The 